Shirk is yet. What about Shirk is yet? So Shirk obviously basically is obviously as we know associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now Assalamu alaikum brother Adil. The definition of shirk you just gave right now is a vague definition of shirk. When you go to Ahl Bid'ah and you ask them, what is the definition of shirk? They can only give you the first category of Tawheed. When you ask them what is shirk, they say shirk is associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his lordship, ar -rubiyya. What about with, uh, with, with all acts of worship, Iluhiyya, and with his names and attributes? SubhanAllah al -Azim. Do not give a vague definition of shirk. Be the people of uh, be the people that, that, that preach Tawheed and understand the fundamentals of Tawheed. You claim to be a scholar. I'm a layman. I shouldn't educate you on this. But let's continue. Um obviously, you know, no one's doing that here. Uh, but obviously from dreams we go into this now. Khair. Now, uh what is minor form of shirk? Obviously minor form of shirk as well as many. One of them obviously I've talked about obviously in previous videos as well is fortune telling. Yes, yeah? so obviously completely impermissible. Subhanallah, now, there you go. You just said that fortune telling is a minor form of shirk. How? That's a major form of shirk. Again, let's go back to the fundamentals, the three categories of Tawheed, Akhi. Shirk means to associate, associate partners with Allah, with His Lordship, acts of worship, Elohiyah, and with His names and attributes. Subhanallah al-Azim. So if you, how can a fortune teller know the future? A fortune teller cannot know the future. So he breaches Tawheed al Asma'i wa Sifat, the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because Allah is the all knowing, Aqi. So fortune telling is a major shirk, not minor. SubhanAllah. But let's continue again. However, uh, talking about this, does that mean that you know every single piece of clothing now, uh, you know, whatever we're wearing generally has, you know, that little guy who's, who's basically, you know, showing the little. Uh, Recycle sign and stuff. Does that mean that every single one of us now, undergarments, whatever it may be, Allah Akbar, whatever it may be, yeah, does that mean we need to start burning them? Guys, we don't need to start burning them, yeah? Uh, this is not obviously, you're not committing shirk and all this sort of thing by, or associating with shirk by wearing them, okay? So, <laughs> wallahu alam. So, he as samai wa sifat, to believe in Allah with his names and attributes. And what is one of the names of Allah? Al Musawwir, mashallah. The one who forms his creatures in different pictures and images. MashaAllah. And also, yes, you're supposed to destroy them. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said it. I didn't. Rasulullah said it. Rasulullah told us to destroy images. Let's go look at the hadiths now. MashaAllah, do not get on to my brother Nasir. He is following what the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said. Now let's go look at this hadith. It was narrated that Ali, may Allah be pleased with them, said we were with the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at a funeral. He said, who will go to Medina and not leave any grave without leveling it or any image without smearing it or any idol without breaking it? So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is telling us to destroy images. Allahu Akbar, Akhi. Allahu Akbar. My brother, uh, advisor I give you is educate yourself on Tawheed and understand the different forms of shirk and do your due diligence on Muhammad Qasim and understand his message. His message is to avoid shirk in all of his forms. The same message as Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Muhammad Qasim calls the Tawheed in detail. He calls the Tawheed al that which is requested and demanded all of us and to worship Allah with all acts of worship.